Hey guys, this is Momo. Um, today I'm coming in with a tutorial on live streaming to Twitch TV. <laughs> um, first off, I want to say sorry for the uh, watermark, which should be right up around here. Uh, to, I'm going to be going into my um, settings, so until I go through the settings section, I can't do that while recording. So sorry about that in advance. But a few people have been asking me how to live stream to Twitch using XSplit. Uh, so I'm going to basically show you what you're going to need to do. <coughs> so I actually am have a license. So I have all these. Really, if you have no license, you will just want the free version. You would only get these this first roll of uh, cutscenes. But I I got the um, three month plan. So <coughs> for right now, I'll show you what you would do. So the first thing you would do is if you're going to add a game, we're going to say HD PVR. So I'm not going to pull it up right now, but when you get to the game, you add, go to the screen region, and let's say this screen is where the total media extreme would be. You would pull it across the screen, this would be the section, and that is what you would be <laughs> viewing, but that's kind of a bad example. Let me just uh, do a full screen example, uh, where is it, screen region, so this is be full screen. Now you would pull it up here, and there you go. You got the full screen there. Um, pretty, that's pretty easy, simple thing. Now let's sometimes let's say if for some reason you're pulling the screen all the way forward and you're getting this black region and you you, you can't go any further. First thing you want to do is you right click on the screen, and then you see keep aspect ratio. You would keep that. You would click that, and then you could pull it all the way over when it's unchecked but since it fits full screen already I can just keep that the way it is um, <coughs> other things before we go into how to broadcast media file is for putting pictures or videos uh, cameras so you can put maybe your USB uh, camera so you can see yourself put yourself on the live stream and there's a lot more uh, things like putting green screens you can do but I'm not gonna get into that so there's all these things you can do now, what you do to be able to start broadcasting, first thing you do is go to Edit Channel. <coughs> so this will pop up, and you'll see I have this already. You would just hit for you. You would had and put Add. Instead, I'm just going to hit Edit because my information is already up. You would just hit Add and enter the information that I would do. So <coughs> first thing you do is you put. Uh, Momo32791 or your username. Uh, Steam key, right here, I actually have this blocked out because I don't want you guys to see my Steam key for obvious reasons. And I'll get to sh uh, get to how to do that and how where to find that key, the Steam key, stream key. I'll show you guys how to find that. Uh, then you put <coughs> the uh, channel, uh, just put the same thing down. Uh, location. Uh, this is and shouldn't be default. What I suggest is you find the closest place towards you. So for me, it would be Chicago. For some reason, oh, it went to uh, back to default because the Chicago server. Oh no, it's just loading very slow because I'm recording and it's kind of uh, taking a lot of my processor up. So you would hit um, right here. You would hit sh your closest one. You can. What you would do is test bandwidth. Then it's the next step. Uh, if it's green, that means you're perfectly fine to go. Yellow means you're pretty good. You might be able to stream, but it might be lagging. So <coughs> you probably want to be careful what you do. Um, so here is your bit rate. I put it to uh, 2,500. Some people might want to go lower because of their internet speed. Mine's actually pretty decent. With 20, I'm getting 25 up and 20, um, uh, 25 down and 25. Uh, uh, 20 up so this is where I'm putting it at I would suggest actually maybe 1500 if you have a just okay internet uh, quality you go in here and change the settings to uh, I probably say 7 for average if you go up to 8 or 9 it really does not matter um, I would just stick at 7 you, if you have a very low internet I would <coughs> put probably to 6 um, keyframe you could mess with that preset uh, actually I'm going to hit settings just for this encoder preset 
Uh, if your computer is very fast, if you have a very powerful computer, you can go lower. But since my computer is just okay and I, I have sometimes issues with streaming with the, my computer and I use a lot of other programs, I would hit super fast to try to make it uh, better for recording. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what it should look like. I mean, this should be lower. Uh, <coughs> the quality should be about the same. All right, we'll go on from here. We'll just hit OK. General, inform general uh, it, this all depends on what you have. My microphone is in the rear of my computer, so there's really nothing here. Basically here, information. All right. Alright, so other things you need to worry about. We go to resolution. I have I'm currently set at 1280 to 720. Um <coughs> I have a pretty good computer for streaming. Not great, but I my computer can handle this. If your computer seems to I would this is what I'd like to have up so I can see how much my computer is using, and right now I'm using a lot of it because I'm having a lot of things up at the same time. So if your computer is at 99% when you're streaming, you probably shouldn't do this. I would go to the, um, probably stick at this level or even go further down until basically you can find a level where your computer can stream at. If your computer is a beast and really amazing, you can go for 920 by 1080p. You can do that, but you actually have to, for that to happen, you actually have to, uh, pay for uh, uh, light premium or I think any license you have to pay for to get this resolution. But most computers cannot handle that um, unless you have like a strong gaming computer. Uh, I'm going to cut it out here so I can get uh, Bandicam off and use the uh, XSplit recorder to show you where to find your stream key. Okay, now this next step we're going to do is how to find your stream key so you can activate your account on XSplit to live stream to Twitch. So let, let me bring you over to the other side. Okay. So this is my this is my channel. This is my Twitch uh, channel. Uh, I got buttons here. It's all pretty. Now what you do to be able to stream is you would go up here and you want to go down to your dashboard. Okay. So here's the, what the dashboard is. Uh, basically, this is for the um, the streamer to put up information, to see a little preview of his video, and to see the comments at the same area. Now, what you want to do on here is you see the streaming apps in the top right corner. You go right up here. And right here, this is where you would hit show key. This is your own personal key, and what you would do is you would click here and you would copy and paste this the stream key uh, this, uh, the key right here into where I showed you previously uh, where your um, it would be over here you go to broadcast you would hit edit channel and then you would go uh, put the account information in and put the stream key there okay um, for anything else, let me. I don't think there's anything else I can say. If you have any questions, guys, you can put it in the comments. And if you guys would like me to put a more in detail uh, tutorial or how to do um, specific things with uh, moving the screen around or any special effects of making your stream look better, uh, just tell me in the comments, and I will do that for you guys. Um, it's a very it's a very nice program. It's nice to work with for free, but I just thought it was worth buying. Uh, before I say anything else, this is before Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is released, so I might have to make a new one of these because I'm hearing rumors that capture cards might not work on the new system. We will have to wait and see. Uh, thank you guys. This is Momo, and if you have any more questions, like I said, just comment below and write and pretty soon I'll be doing a lot more gaming videos instead of doing these commentary or tutorial videos. See you guys soon.